Hello everybody, Terry Carl Joy Edian here with Divine Guidance by Doreen Virtue and I'm actually combining two chapters in one today uh, because I read two. So we're going to cover the very end of the Claire Audience section as well as the beginning of the Claire Sentient section. I tried these Claire Audience exercises. I didn't do all of them so uh, I definitely want to revisit these videos but the interesting thing for me is I found, as I was asking the questions, I was searching for an image. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess my mind uh, thinks I'm clairvoyant most strongly, or for some reason expects that. I don't know. So here are the exercises so you can try it for yourself. Always when you're doing the exercise, Doreen recommends to relax, take some deep breaths. And then for this first one, she has a couple of questions you can ask and listen for the answer for. Please describe someone new that I'm going to meet in the near future. What new opportunity will soon enter my life? What changes do you advise me to make in my life right now? And then close your eyes, shut out visual distractions. Take some more deep breaths and listen for any words within your mind, outside, above your ears. It may not sound like your own voice. It might be positioned next to one ear. She says you also may find that divine guidance comes from one ear and then false guidance, more of like your ego guidance comes from the other ear. Write down everything, even if the words don't make sense. They might make more sense later. And don't stress about it. She says you may have some fear when it comes to clear audience. It's also possible that you did hear something, but your inner self, your ego is, sorry, your ego is convincing you that it's not real. There's also an exercise involving the book. And then there's an exercise where she focuses on automatic writing. You can use your pen with paper or you can use a keyboard, you can type it out. And she says you can always ask the spirit world to slow its pace down if it's going too fast because they do want to get the message out. Always start with some deep breaths and here's a prayer that she suggests so that only God and the angels come through. Something like this. Dearest God, I ask to receive your golden guidance through my writing. I ask that you and the angels watch over my writing to ensure that all messages are from you and the angelic realm. Thank you and amen. Pretty cool. She said any prayer that comes naturally, even the Lord's Prayer, can work for this and set the tone. After a brief meditation period, hold either a pencil over a paper or your hands over the computer keyboard. Make sure you have a steady writing surface or typing surface and then ask your specific question or open-ended question, she says. Could be, what do you want me to know? Words will come either inside or outside your mind. Usually you'll hear a faint inner voice. The voice may be accompanied by a strong desire to write what you hear. You may even find that the pencil writes on its own. As you write the dictation onto your paper or keyboard, you will hear more words to write. So this is something I have been wanting to try more. I've definitely had the daughter's mind. <clears throat> but I think this is the route that I want to play with with Claire Audience. Personally, I'd love to know what you try out. She mentions you may feel lightheaded or slight pressure around your head as you automatically write. As you get used to receiving the high vibration frequencies, that may dissipate. You may recognize the automatic writing by tonal quality. It should be loving, supportive, positive, ring deep in your heart. Um, if you're hearing things that are negative, then stop because that's not the divine writing so just call on God and the angels to refocus you and clear out anything that doesn't belong. Hmm. Automatic writing is very safe and pleasant for receiving guidance. And then finally she says you can do partner clear audience exercises where you choose a partner who's open-minded and unafraid of receiving spiritual messages. Sit facing each other, take some deep breaths, Hold each other's two hands and both of you close your eyes. The partner who's receiving and delivering 
the divine messages then ask God and the angels, what would you like me to know about? And the person's name. And then um, you just speak whatever messages come into your mind. Words, thoughts, pictures, feelings, combination. Don't edit or censor or try to interpret. Just speak them. This kind of reminds me of the Kashic Records teaching. Whatever you receive, just share it. It may make no sense to you, but it may make sense to your partner now or later. So that's another neat exercise. She says to remember that by delivering divine guidance, you are being an earth angel and helping God spread his healing, love, and peace. So that's it for Claire Audience. I'm just going to touch briefly into Claire Sentience, because I read that chapter as well, which is more on the sensing. Claire Audience, auditory, Claire Sentience, sensing, uh, touch, feeling, emotions. Many of us have said the following, I have a good feeling about this, or a bad feeling about this. I have just a hunch that we've driven too far. I get the feeling something great is going to happen. Those feeling words indicate clairsentience. Here are some different things you may experience for clairsentience. Tighten muscles if it's a negative situation. Butterflies or nausea, a sign of trouble. Hunch your gut feeling to do something. Sinking sensation that's not going to work out. Feeling that a certain person is thinking about you and then they end up calling you. Strong, sudden emotion that's unrelated to immediate surroundings could be prophetic. Feeling of joy, it tells you on the right path. Peace, lets you know it's going to be okay. Smells, it's funny because when I was a teacher in the School of Metaphysics, there was a student who used to have smells as part of her dream life. And I knew it meant something, but I didn't know how to guide her. And it says, um, like, Smelling orange blossoms might signal a forthcoming wedding, so it could be prophetic. Sharp drop in room temperature could mean someone in the room has questionable integrity. Picking up another's feelings as if they're your own. Feeling a brush against your skin or a change in the air pressure lets you know the angels or deceased loved ones are around you. Pretty cool stuff. Let's see. And then I want to end with just a little bit on emotional sensitivity. If this applies to you, you may be a clairsentient. You're sensitive to other people's emotions. You dislike crowds because of the intense energy. You can absorb distress from negative people. People may even say around you, wow, I feel so much better. I'm really glad to get that off my chest. Uh, angels say that you it's really important when you experience these things to hold a loving attitude toward the person who you're interacting with and avoid labeling them, avoid seeing them as dependent because that's not the ultimate truth. They are empowered. They are children of God. All of us are. She says this affirmation can help. This person like me is a holy child of God. God meets all of their needs. I will not view this person as dependent, sick, or broken. To do so would only hurt both of us because we would create a negative reality from this negative labeling. Instead, I will see that God created everyone equally perfect. By seeing this perfection, I help the other person to see and experience their own divinity in action. I love that. This was such a shocking, pleasant passage. The angels will also help you with negative situations. They'll guide you away from people whose consciousness are more ego-based. Um, if you end up absorbing negative energy, they can help clear you. Just ask. And they say that clear sentience should surround themselves with nature. And that's a message I get all the time from all different kinds of readings and reports. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty clear sentient. That's going to be at least one of my clears here. And I would love to hear what you're resonating with so far with these videos. Um... The angels told Doreen, we will guide you past all situations that could rob you of your laughter and joy. Yet, if you seek our counsel when you have encountered another who has caused your mind to grieve, we will help you with our essence of healing, love, and light. Counsel, we counsel you to take Mother Nature's hand. Her plants, ferns, and flowers can shelter you from internal storms by taking up the darkness through their energy cells and roots. If you've taken darkness in, Ask the nature angels among the plants to stand by and guard your energy from absorbing the dark. And don't worry about them. They are instruments of light here to, for the holy support, holy purpose of supporting 
our efforts to return home. So, pretty cool. And then she has some stories in here, she always does, of examples of people experiencing clairsentience and listening to it or not listening to it. So, um, if you can, get access to the book, check it out. And have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you experience some fun, joyful divine guidance today that you can take note of. Maybe even journal it out. Keep a record. It's good to do that. Much love and many blessings to you all. Bye now.